Hello, beautiful people out there in YouTube world. Um, coming to you with these weird pigtails today because I am going to show you how I blow out and straighten my hair. Um, this is going to be my last straighten for the season because it is spring here in New York now and New York is very humid, which means this probably won't last me very long. But I want to test out this It's a 10 Miracle Even Plus Keratin product, which I've heard a lot of great things about. Um, but never tried myself because it's twenty dollars for this little four ounce bottle. But I'm all about a product that works, so let's check it out and see. Um, normally, I don't like to blow dry my hair when it's this dry. <laughs> um, the ends of my hair, everything that's in the braid, basically, it's still really um, damp. But the rest of this ponytail area up here feels pretty dry already. But I am not going to rewet it since it's stretched out anyway. I'm just going to work with it um, in the way it is now. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the Miracle It's a 10. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm spraying the product into my hand. Um, I don't really like spraying product like this directly on my hair because as you see, it doesn't move. So if I spray it in one area, it's just going to sit in one area. So. Um, I like the texture, it's nice and like light and creamy. I prefer to put it in my hand so that I can more evenly distribute it throughout my hair. And I know a lot of people don't use, like to use a lot of products in their hair. I personally do because my hair is really lightweight and I need a little something just to weigh my hair down. So next I'm using the Chi Silk Infusion um, as a sealer and I'm going to use about a quarter size amount in my hair. So I just put that all in my hands and again just making sure to evenly distribute. I'm just wrapping up half of my half of hair, get it out the way. Keep it nice and stretched out there and then I'm going to start with this back half section here. I'm using um, my Chi Air Blow Dryer with a comb attachment that actually comes from the Chi Deep Brilliance Dryer. Um, this is like the world's best Afro Pick comb attachment, I promise you. I have not found one better. And I'm going to start with the ends of my hair. And just work my way up. Since this is quite a big section, I'm just going to go ahead, now that I got it a little dry, and take half of it. And do the same thing with the front, but the front's a little thicker, so I'm just going to take half of this from the jump. Again, I want to make sure that I'm keeping the hair stretched out. In the meantime, because as a natural, if you let that hair shrink up, you can't come back from that sometimes. So I'm going to grab it and just stretch it. Start at the ends again. And again, with the bigger sections, I like to go ahead and subsection if I need to. Because there's no point in trying to rip through a big amount of hair and causing yourself detriment when you can just go with a smaller section at a time. because as you can see that was super fast so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be back to flat iron. <laughs> 
Okay, so done blow drying, it's time to start flat ironing. What I am going to use to flat iron is my um, two inch GHD, stands for Good Hair Day um, flat iron. Um, also, I will be using a fine tooth comb. You can probably see these. This has very fine teeth on this side. You can hardly see through them versus like this. I prefer the very fine teeth when I'm flat ironing, especially from this state. Um, it's pretty straight that I can get the very, very fine teeth through this hair without an issue, especially chasing the flat iron. Um, and it just helps to ensure that my hair comes out even straighter because it's like every single strand is getting stretched and flat ironed in that. Okay, so my camera died, so I need to go charge for a second. So yes, I did do some hair. As you can tell, the sun has gone down, so the timing is a little different. But I'm going to go ahead and just continue from here. So again... Thin slices. No, I don't use anything and specifically part my hair. I'd rather not anyway so I don't end up with straight parts everywhere. Um, then I just make sure that the hair is nice and detangled and I grab it really taut from the root. So I'm literally like pulling this. So it's nice and straight already and then I go ahead and I just press my flat iron right at the root a little bit. Um, and the reason why you really want to make sure and pull the hair taut is because it's like ironing a shirt. You take out the wrinkles first and then you lay the iron on top of it. So you don't want to lay your flat iron on top of still shrunken or curly hair because then it's just going to crunch that curl into the hair. So you want to make sure it's straight before you even touch any heat to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with the second pass and as you saw I comb chase so I make sure I put the comb in first. Um, using the smaller teeth and then I just chase it with the comb. I'm also curving it so my hair can come out with a nice little bump at the end and you see how that falls. For those people who flat iron their hair and then curl it, well instead you can do the step in one. Save on some heat and pay attention to the speed at which I'm moving with the flat iron. I'm going slow enough that it can evenly hit the hair with heat but I'm not going too slow that it's just sitting on the hair and burning it. Nobody needs burnt hair or heat damage. And I will say I have been wearing my hair straight all winter and I have been very, very lucky as soon as I get a second I'm gonna knock on some wood <laughs> that I haven't incurred any heat damage. Go right on back and you hit that root, honey. You get that hair laid. But as you see, I was able to flat iron and bump my hair in one. So, and I would say, I mean, <laughs> probably a little biased, <laughs> but I think it looks really good. It's nice and straight from the root. I mean, you saw what I started with with blow drying, and a lot of people always think I have a relaxer when I straighten my hair. And I don't. I just take my time and go little pieces by pieces and if anything still looks a little curly like this sometimes I don't worry about it because with being natural once I go and wash my face you want to be you know make sure you're really thoroughly getting your hairline because you do put makeup there too so sometimes I leave this because it's gonna curl right back up but let's just say for the sake of anything I was going out tonight then I should just take out these little pieces again Hold it very taut from the root and just hit the root. I don't need to go down the whole hair strand again because I already did that. But yeah, 
I can't complain. I would say she is looking pretty good. Well, thank you for watching. Please make sure you rate, you comment, and you subscribe. And if you're in New York and you ever want to see me, hey, hit me up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, to go to sleep, I will just wrap this pretty much every night. Um, I do not flat iron again once I have a ready flat iron because I don't. I like to keep it uh, really, really minimal on the heat. Uh, but what I do do is I go ahead and I silk wrap it if it starts to get a little puffy and I feel like I want to get straight again. Um, but aside from that, thank you, thank you. Rate, comment, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, whatever down below here. And, um, you know, this will be fun starting a new little journey with you guys. Alright, have a good one. Bye!